In today's video, I take a look at the all new party crate on the Loverfella server and show off all of the skins and special abilities each item has. Up first, we have the party bottle hat. The effect is really more aesthetic than anything else with a circle of particles going around your head, which change through the rainbow as you walk around. And then the helmet skin is actually very nice with the stopper on the top looking very accurate like cork and it's a good detail rather than having it open. And then also the colorful beads inside of it really just pull it all together. Then we have the party balloon hat, which is sort of just a bunch of balloons tied together in the shape of a hat. It looks very nice color wise, but it could have a little bit more work. And then it's a spec gives you the floating effect. So basically you don't take fall damage, but this is kind of made obsolete by the acrobatic skill as that can already cancel out fall damage so this be kind of comes that collectible item that people are going to get because it does look cool the party helmet is sort of that thing you see at a party but it's very small when you wear it on your head i feel like it should be a little bit bigger so you can actually get the idea and see it well but also a really good thing about it is that it has protection eight all of the armor pieces in this crate have protection 8 which is very helpful as that's going to be one of the best pairs of armor you can get for reasonably cheap its ability on the other hand giving regeneration can be overwritten by some runes or even a beacon as it's only regeneration one if it was regeneration three or two that might be a little bit more helpful but overall is a really good helmet those were all the helmets but up next we have the pieces of armor so the chest plate the leggings and the boots all have protection eight and thorns four and obsidian forge too but the special thing about the boots is that it can transfer fall damage to a near nearby entity or player so i personally haven't been able to experience this i've been trying to um i don't think it's too helpful again because of acrobatics is already canceling out your fall damage i don't know why someone would need an efficiency 10 axe but that is exactly what is on the party axe so the party axe is a piece of cake stabbed through with a fork and its special ability is actually very interesting it's like a bow it shoots a piece of cake through the air it has a cooldown of about four seconds and does seven hearts to a person in no armor so a person in like max armor is not going to do much damage i think the main reason i would use this axe is to keep someone in combat as you can shoot them from far away but still have your axe ready to pvp so I will be opening up a crate this video, so make sure to stick around till the end of the video where you'll get to see what I get. The thing I've heard the most people talking about, the party pickaxe. So this is a really cool pickaxe that has a basic rocket on the end of a stick, but what really makes it special is that it's efficiency 10, but it mines a three by three area out. If you don't know what I mean, it's literally three by three, you're mining nine blocks at once, but there's a little bit of catch that it requires two gunpowder um, per use. But what's annoying is that the gunpowder has to be in your offhand. Maybe they can try to fix that and make it so the gunpowder just has to be in your inventory. Um, it, it's, it's good and bad. It mines super fast, but the problem is it goes through gunpowder so fast. In the clip that you're probably seeing right now, that was four stacks of gunpowder. I went through that in like a minute. So I think this is more going to be used for obsidian. And yeah, that's probably about it. The confetti blaster is basically a microphone and it looks like it's a sword with sharpness eight and looting seven. So not bad in chance there. And it's special ability basically shoots like balls that do damage. It has a five second cooldown. So again, it's a faster ability, which is nice. The party sword is very underwhelming, although it has sharpness 8 and looting 7, it's really, its look is just terrible. It's a balloon that's supposed to be tied like a sword, there's not much detail in it at all. And then its ability, which gives people the levitation effect, only lasts for like 3 or 5 seconds or so, not very long at all. The party shovel honestly looks incredible. It is basically a bubble blower stick thing and the detail on the bubbles like suds part is so incredible. Its special ability is to be able to dig faster underwater so almost like you're not affected by the water. I don't know actually how helpful that's going to be because I don't know many people who mine like sand underwater or gravel. But nonetheless, it's still going to be helpful for those people who do mine it. And the skin is very nice. 
the party balloons you run into the same problem as the boots and helmet where if you have a high enough acrobatics level you don't really need this but the positive of this is that it's an insanely cool looking decoration and the overall look of it it's like a glow in the center just how they designed it is very nice this is probably one of my favorite looking items in this entire crate aside from the shovel so yeah so we're getting to all of the placeable items the decorations so I'm just going to read them off. We have the jukebox, which has a very cool animation and was teased a lot by Loverfella. It can be cool gen like decorations, but I wish it had more of a use rather than just sitting there. The party blower is actually, I think, maybe going to turn into a meta. If you have a blaze grinder, you put that right next to where you kill the blaze and you can advertise it as it being like powered or there's also a party blower there that gives you 1.5 times the exp is normal although it's three block radius is going to restrict how far it can reach and then we have the party lights which don't actually do too much i don't even think they glow if i remember correctly and they are not that big so you're gonna need like 10 of them if you want to actually make a room look good and use those properly the cool feature is that you can have them dangling from the ceiling which is technically what you're supposed to not from the wall you want to have the item frame on the ceiling to place it but it looks cool as a decor decoration just not that worth that much and then of course we have the three pinatas we have the chicken the cow and the horse they don't really do anything special they're just decorations the colors though look really nice this is sort of something that i pop in like a corner people might pretend it's a stuffed animal or just hang it out for detail in somewhere and then like all cr special crates we have a chance at a chocolate key which i i personally don't want even though it's profit and i forgot to mention when you open a crate you can get one of three ribbons or you can get a cake but now it's actually time to open up our crate let's see what we get the key is like a balloon and we got the cake and the elephant or not elephant the cow oh man uh, uh, personally that's a rip i um didn't want that at all but if you guys did enjoy this video please consider leaving a like and subscribing without further ado hope you enjoyed this video it's different than normal but have a great day